Carl Tractor he means. Uh, just want to show you the 16 scale Turnigy uh, Mini Rally Extreme Edition. I've added a FPV system to it. And I just want to kind of give you the basics of, of uh, what I've done here. And so let's take this off and show you where I placed everything. Now, <clears throat> I am using the FCC approved version, meaning that it's only a 25 watt transmitter. And, but it has a very short antenna, and so you notice it actually fits right underneath the body and fits back here really snug. Sorry, there's a spin. And this bumper is actually very rigid. <clears throat> so it protects it pretty well. And <clears throat> then how I power it is that system comes with this uh, voltage uh, regulator and filter um, to filter out noise, electronic noise, so the picture is <clears throat> not staticky as much as possible and that just fits <clears throat> that balance lead and you can actually use a 2, 3, or 4S. I'm using 3S and so <clears throat> I just kind of mounted it there. I mean I used some odd parts here. Um, this uh, the camera cable is actually a <coughs> shielded cable, and <coughs> one thing with FPV is you want this antenna to be at least four inches away from this antenna, and then also you get a lot of noise from ESC and motor. So that does seem too close. Um, I'm gonna have to see what. Um, the picture looks like if if it's just when I throttle or if it's around you know corners or if my body's turned or something and this mess here is just me getting a few fans put together I'll probably clean that up later um, this uh, is just a linear VAC that uh, is 5 volts and I'm running <clears throat> the power to the receiver and everything else separate from this ESC mainly because this ESC is uh, uh, hobby king and uh, it's 25 amp constant like 85 um, peak and I run a 3S and so I don't want to put any other str any strain on that ESC um, I may, may choose to upgrade so <clears throat> anyway I just run this cable up through the hole that I have made and it just threads through there and in the back of the camera. Now I could have mounted this camera right here. It actually fits absolutely snug and perfect there and I actually don't think it, it um, bothered the shocks or restricted uh, travel or anything but and I just adhere to the double sided tape problem with mounting it there is I would have to essentially carve out the front end of this which would be okay um, I mean I really wouldn't care but it would actually be really close to where the nose is and when you hit something on the front uh, that just may very well bust your camera <clears throat> I'll show you 
where I uh, planned to run this. My workshop's a little messy. Got a few cars. But this is my basement. I've actually got a 60 foot track. And so here's the trailer. And got a couple switch backs and forth. There by the heater and stuff. Give me a little bit more room. And back. I actually have a my lapse system under under here. It's a little dark back here, but uh, basically there's the unit. And I can do timing of laps down here. So anyway, I'm gonna keep up working on this. I'll fine tune it. It was really quite intense uh, as far as just how fast it came at you. Uh, I guess that's what uh, true filling a scale is. Uh, anyway, so um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Trek 13 News. Um, let people know if you are, are like my videos, if you find it interesting. Um, I'm going to probably add some LEDs with maybe a, a lighting system so when I'm get you know falling throttle it'll be either white or green and then when I'm braking it will go red um, whether that's you know lights individual lights or the whole body glows I don't know yet but uh, anyway thanks for watching